Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday Morning and the Old Cookbook Show. Today we're going to do a recipe out of this little cookbook sent in by a viewer. Thank you very much for sending these in. It's called Home Baked Delicacies. Enhance the fame of the modern hostess. New edition, splashed out writ large on the front, new edition. Now this is, um, this is a little cookbook that was put out by the General Foods Corporation in 1931, ostensibly to sell white down cake flour. Um, and it is a very interesting little book with lots of great recipes and lots of great tips and tricks about making um, delicious tender cakes. And a lot of the tips and tricks that are in this book are also found in an earlier Swan's Down cookbook. This is from, um, this was published one year earlier in 1930. And there's only one cake recipe in this book, but there are how many pages? 48 pages of information about cake flour, about gluten and gluten development, about shortening, about how to assemble your cake to get the most tender cake. Um, and then pages and pages of things that tell you if this happened, then this is probably the culprit and here's how you fix it. I wish I could send one of these to everyone who asks questions about mixing cakes down in the comment section. I wish I could send one of these books to everyone who down in the comment section says, oh, if you don't have cake flour, do a mixture of all purpose flour and cornstarch. Um, no. They go to great lengths to tell you that that's not the case. So today we're going to do a recipe out of this book and we're going to do something called the old time brownies. Um, and I'm interested in this, in this one because it's got a little bit higher chocolate proportion. There's no fat um, in the way that we would normally think of fat as say butter or oil or shortening. Um, all of the fat comes from sour cream. Uh, so I'm kind of interested in how this goes together. Now, this book and this book go to great lengths talking about sifting. Sifting the flour before you measure it. Sifting the flour like this when you're mixing it together. It tells you to sift it three times um, after you mix the salt and the baking soda in, which I just did. Um, I'm not using Swan's Down flour today. Not available um, in the grocery stores where I live. And I mean, yes, I could get it. There is a place on the internet where I could order it, but it was $131 for a bag of flour. For $131, I think Julie and I would put some gas in our airplane and fly down to, uh, fly to Montreal for the weekend and have a really good weekend with friends rather than buying a bag of flour. So I've got that sifted together. I did sift the flour before I measured it, which changes your measurement, even though it's, it's by volume. And I sifted it once afterwards. I'm supposed to sift it two more times, but don't tell anybody. I'm tired of sifting. So in this jug, I have five egg yolks and I put in the sugar. We just beat that together until it's light and creamy. And you can see how pale yellow that gets. So this looks great. Now I need to melt the chocolate. Um, I've mentioned this before, you take your, your measuring cup with the chocolate squares in it, put it into a pot with a bain-marie, hot water, you simmer the water, the hot water melts the chocolate. Works fantastic. It's the way I did it for years. Um, I now just whack it in a microwave. For about a minute in our microwave, and I stir it at the 30 second point, and by the minute point it is melted, it's perfect, it's fantastic. Um, I don't have a microwave here in the studio, so I'm going to go inside and melt this chocolate. Okay, that's two 30 second bursts in the microwave and it is melted. Now that's two and a half squares of Baker's chocolate. And another thing, have you noticed that they stopped wrapping Baker's chocolate in, in parchment paper before they put it in the little box? They now just whack them into the box. No, uh, no parchment paper. Not saying that's good or bad, just something that I've noticed. So the chocolate now goes into our egg mixture. All right, so get that all in there. Okay, last of the chocolate. Now, I'm gonna whisk this in. And it whisks in really quickly. There's not much to it. At this point, 
I add alternately the flour mixture and the sour cream. And I have to imagine that if you don't have sour cream on hand, plain yogurt would work just as well. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. The fat content might be a little bit different. But for the most part, in all of my baking, I found that you can do them, you can use them almost interchangeably. Um, sour cream or plain yogurt. So I'm gonna put in a good big scoop of sour cream and mix that in. That loosens up the eggs quite a bit, which will allow me to put in a couple of spoonfuls of flour and mix that in. And I'll just alternate back and forth between the two. The flour and the sour cream is all mixed in at this point. Last two ingredients, it asks for walnuts. I'm not a big fan of walnuts, so I'm using pecans and some vanilla. So we'll mix that in. Okay, now it says to Hmm. <laughs> I mean, can't go wrong with that, I don't think. It says to bake it in deep greased cupcake pans um, in a 400 degree, 400 Fahrenheit degree oven. These are the deepest that I have, um, muffin tins. Fill these two thirds of the way, or at least try, and see what happens. And I think I've overfilled some of these. I might have to go back and take some out. Didn't get 24. Hey Glenn. Hey Jules. Hey friends. Cupcake or muffin? What do we what do we got here? Neither. 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 Little mini cakes? Cut that in half. I don't think we need a whole one. Oh, <laughs> apparently Clay doesn't think we need a whole one. I don't want to ruin your supper. Oh. Okay. It's got nice structure. It does. I mean, it's very soft and fluffy. Mm -hmm. It has no real smell to it. No. Hmm. Interesting. It's moist. It has a light, sweet flavor to it. It's moist. It's very light. It's very cakey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The nuts are nice. Doesn't have a very overwhelming chocolate flavor. In fact, other than the color. I would not say if I was so. Yeah, if I was blindfolded, I, I, it would be like, what flavor is that? Um, and it's not offensive in any way. Oh, no. I'm still going to shove it in my mouth. <laughs> <I'm gonna say. laughs> um, so that's odd. No, odd. Is there more to this? Is there more to this story? So this is a brownie. Okay. Um, this is a brownie, and old time brownies. It's got. So three... you would add more chocolate? Maybe that's what it needs. Maybe I... it needs like five squares of chocolate. I would add more chocolate, and I'd take away some of the soda. It's got three quarters of a teaspoon of soda. I'm just got all those bubbles. Yeah, I, but I like a denser, fudgier brownie. Ah, so there's the, you know. So there it is. Are you, are you a brownie who likes the cakey brownie, the fudgy brownie? But then we don't really make a fudge brownie either. Well, we it's make, kind we, of a very dense brownie. It is a very yeah. dense brownie, yeah. So this is a very good chocolate cake muffin. It's a very good chocolate cupcake. It's a very good chocolate. This is a great chocolate cupcake. It, you know what? It would be exactly a chocolate cupcake. It would be a you put some icing on it, and yeah. it would be a very birthday party-ish kind yeah. of. Thing. Not a not a dark, rich chocolate. I mean, it needs more chocolate. It really does need more chocolate. I think that's what it comes down to. I'm disappointed in the lack of chocolate in my old time chocolate. But brownies. all the other parts are really good. It like is really it's good. soft. It's it's fluffy. It's moist. So it's... it uses cake flour, um, and this is originally put out by the Swans Down Cake Flour Company. It talks about why you should use cake flour, and everything that it talks about why you should use cake flour is present in this. Although I had to use Robin Hood cake flour because $131 for a box of Swans Down cake flour seemed like a little bit too much. To me, anyway. And then you'd have to wait for it to be delivered. Yes, although 
shipping was free. <laughs> Perhaps it's less expensive where you are. Yeah. Feel free. I'm not just saying yeah. that, you know. If you live in, I don't know, Arkansas, Minnesota, wherever, that they still sell it. Anyway. Disappointing on some level, but yet on many other levels, I think this is pretty good. If I have to add some extra chocolate, that's pretty mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Unknown. Thanks for stopping by and see you again soon. Apparently he likes them enough that his mouth is full again. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs>